So now we're going to do things a little bit differently for this new test. We're going to use the page object model that's built into Selenium. In order to do this, we can't have a static page. We have to create an instantiation of the page so that we can inject in the information from the page to bind to the elements. So this will make a little bit more sense in a minute here, but before we can do anything with page object model, we need to refactor our code a little bit. We're going to try and keep this API the same though. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make it so that this home page class can be instantiated instead of making it static. This worked well for our original purpose, but as we try to use the page object model, it's not going to work quite as well. So let's go ahead and move this out first of all. And so now let's go ahead and make this class non-static. We can still leave the URL as static and the page title, but let's go ahead and change its methods. So now you can see that our test is broken because we don't have this home page, but we can actually implement this as a property instead. So let's try that. We're going to create it of type home page and we don't need a setter here. And what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and create a new instance of our home page. So every time someone asks for our home page here, we're just going to create a new home page. So we'll say var home page equals new home page. And then we're just going to return it. And this will ensure that we're always getting a new instance of that home page every time. It's a fairly simple implementation, but this will work for now. So let's go ahead and run our test here just to make sure it's still going to work. And you can see we went to Pluralsight, we closed the browser, and our test did pass here.